Hi, I'm James Maroney from First Choice College Placement, and I'm going over this SAT problem with you today. This is question number seven from the SAT official practice test for 2012-2013, which you can download for free from the collegeboard.com website. This is number seven out of 20, and remember the math questions go in the order of difficulty. The section of 20 goes from numbers one till 20, easy to heart. So 17, 18, 19, and 20 are level five or most difficult questions. This is on the beginning half. It's before number 10, so it's an easier question, but it's an easy to medium. And this is what I call an exponent problem. How do we know it's an exponent problem? Well, we see a variable in the exponent, the n and the k. What's the key to solving an exponent problem? Well, the key to solving an exponent problem is to manipulate both sides to get them in terms of the smallest integer that we see, which in this case is 2. So we need to say that 8, express 8 as 2 to a power. 8 is really 2 to the third to the n. Well, what do we know with the, an exponent? We know that if you raise a power to a power, you multiply. So we know that 2 to the 3n equals 2 to the k. Now that the bases are the same on each side, we just go ahead and set each of the exponents, set the exponents equal to each other. So we know that k equals 3n. Again, one of the things we can always do is look to the answer choices for clues. They ask us in this question for n over k. Yet, when we look into the answers, we don't have any n's or k's. So we know that we need to solve for one in terms of the other and plug in. So n over 3, n over k is really, well, since k equals 3n, this is really n over 3n. The n's cancel, and this is really 1 over 3, or choice B. Again, an exponent problem is one of the, what I call, key concepts. Concepts that have a very good chance of showing up on the SAT test. Tune in again soon for our next video.